Gray, what in the world is going on? Not now, is he? Don't walk away from me. I saw you at Whitechapel. What? You followed me? I was worried about you. You fled like a madman after the battle on the bridge. You know nothing. Less than nothing. Is this some kind of clandestine infiltration? Is that what you're up to? This isn't the time. Gray, what's happened to you? Oh. Ever since Mallory was killed, I look at you and... What? What do you see? I don't know. A stranger. Someone I'm not sure I can trust anymore. Whatever it is, for God's sake, tell me. Not this time, is he? And you do well to stay clear of me. For your own good. You! Find General Lafayette and summon him to the library. This allegation is monstrous! I refuse to believe it. If the Lord Chancellor will permit me, I can I show- I will not permit! And you will say nothing more of these ridiculous suspicions. All the years I've known your father, never have I seen him so obstinate. Your allegations strike at the very heart of the Empire. I fear he cannot sustain another blow as great as the loss of Mallory. All he need do is journey to Blackwall Yard. For what evidence? The destruction was total. A clear case of arson, according to Commissioner Doyle. Apparently, a small group of rebels was seen on the docks. It was all rather... What is the word the Commissioner is so fond of? Oh, yes, elementary. Now, what do you think? I have no opinion. Should you wish, I can attempt to persuade the Lord Chancellor to put the matter before the Council. If it is true that we have a traitor in our midst, word is bound to get back to the conspirators. What do you propose? Breach the walls of the United India House under cover of night. Any information that will shed light on the events of the last few days must surely be found there. Trespass on the Company's headquarters. You are cut from the same cloth as Mallory. Drastic circumstances call for drastic measures. Oh. I would have your assistance, Alistair. I hardly think it proper for the Knight Commander to be you seen... You know the lay of the land. I will need your guidance to navigate the grounds of the United India House. If a conspiracy is to be revealed, your testimony will carry weight with your father. Very well. But the two of us alone will not suffice to infiltrate the compound. If what you say is true, there are precious few we can trust. My sister, Lafayette. I cannot involve them until I have more evidence. Then who? I might know just the person who can help us. I thank you, brother. We're approaching the United India House. I assume we're not planning to enter through the front door. Not to worry. I've made preparations for our incursion. Gaining access to the compound proved to be a little more difficult than planned. We're here. Back entrance to the compound. You could say that. Oh, evening, sir. Francis. Crossbow. Brings back memories. Ancient ones of that. 
Thought it best we stay silent on this mission. Let's get going. Compan has patrolled all through the night. Guards man all entrances. What's the incursion point? The gardens. Should provide us enough cover to move in unnoticed. Follow me. Should head to the rooftops. <clears throat> Francis' intelligence does pan out. A trustworthy man, it seems. Not really. He has a debt to repay. Done. Alistair, I need you to stay here and spot my path. Once I'm clear, I'll give you the go-ahead to enter. Very well. I do be careful. My sister wouldn't forgive me if I were to return alone. What she doesn't know cannot hurt her. My gallant knight. It seems I came just in time. I suppose so. Though it would not be in my nature to let a god get the better of me. Did you come alone? Devi and Finley are with me. They're taking care of the rest of the guards and you. I could not risk involving my squad, but there is one more with me. And you trust this person? Yes, with my life. Very well. What now? We will meet him inside and proceed to the archives room. As you can see, we face some resistance. They're over here. Ronnie, we found a way in. Once in place, we can use the stagecoach to climb the balcony. Knight, help us push this into place. I need you to stay. Rani, I need to be by your side. You always are, child. What of him and his accomplice? Heed my advice. Do you not know how dear you are to me? Then why do you push me away? Because I need you to continue the cause if something happened to me. Do not say that. Debbie, though you may not trust me, know that I will protect your queen in your stead. I owe her knew that much. See that you do. Look and hold your fire! This is Lakshmi Bai, the leader of the rebellion. 
She is your confederate. Have you taken leave of your senses, man? I might ask the same question. If I didn't know you any better, I'd think you'd led me into a rebel ambush. As I might fear an arrest. We do not have time for this. We needed help, and she is the only one I could turn to. This is madness. You're putting the very core of our order in jeopardy. Alistair, you have to trust me. You asked that we find proof. She was with me in Blackwall. She witnessed what I found there. You mean to tell me that she helped you destroy the United India Company docks? My father was right. That was an act of pure terrorism. She used you. She brought this conspiracy to my attention. And if we're to see it through, her help is invaluable. And what if you're wrong? Then she and I will answer for our actions. And suffer the consequences. As Mallory did. I hope you're right, Gray. I would not want to see you on the wrong side of this mess. Neither would I, brother. The archives room is just ahead. Search the archives. Look for manifests, bills of lading, requisition orders. Anything that might link the company to the half-breed shipments. <laughs> How are we supposed to look through all this? Keep it down, Finley. Just hang off while we search. Over here! You will want to see this. These are shipments that were sent to my homeland. If this log is to be believed, the company now has a foothold in every Indian state. Here, the Agamemnon shipment, destined for the eastern coast of the Americas. And three more shipments planned along the same route. RMS Oceanic is next. It set sail in six weeks. Where's Finley? Things. Do you believe me now? He is the one behind all this. The Whitechapel killings. The half-breed scourge. United India. All you. Jacob Van Neck. Or as the Fleet Street pamphleteers have so fondly named me, Jack the Ripper. At your service. I thank you, Sir Lucan, for delivering these meddlers. Deal with them. And do not fail us. You. Quite fortuitous, wouldn't you say, Sir Galahad? The rebel leader captured. And a traitor revealed. 
all in one fell swoop. The traitor being you, regrettably. Alistair, how could you? Forgive me, brother. I have to look to my own kind above all. Your kind? Run! Stay where you are. Wait, I can't I explain. said, don't move. You arrive in good time. We received a report of a disturbance. Yes, Sir Galahad stormed in here with a filthy band of rebels intent on killing me. It's a lie. Oh, see the result of that little incursion. Sir Galahad's accomplice was a woman. The leader of the rebellion, in fact. She eluded our grasp. Not for long. You will order the company guards to stand down, Lord Hastings. We knights will see to the capture of the rebel leader. Izzy, listen to me. You're making a grave mistake. Sir Percival, take this intruder into custody. I am truly sorry this office must fall upon you, Marquis. No more than I am, monsieur. Get him out of my sight. I thank you, Lady Igraine. Your intervention was truly fortuitous. We are only carrying out our sworn duty, Lord Hastings. They're all the same, my lady. You would do well to keep a close eye on that traitor. You may expect to be summoned before the courts. Your testimony will be required. I am always at the service of Her Majesty's Knights. The prisoner stands accused of the most heinous crimes. Sir Galahad has betrayed our ancient trust. More than this, he has conspired with godless rebels. Adding to his litany of evil, he has presumed to take the life of our esteemed Chamberlain, Lord Hastings. Sir Galahad is a base traitor, a man without honor or scruple. I ask the Council to impose the supreme penalty. I beg the Council's indulgence. Let us not forget Sir Galahad's service to this order over the centuries. Perhaps our brother Knight can be saved. And once more put onto the righteous path. The Knight Commander shows too much leniency. The proof against the traitor is... irrefutable. Lord Hastings. You have identified the prisoner as your assailant? Sir Galahad infiltrated our headquarters late night. We found Lord Hastings wounded by the prisoner's hand. He must stand condemned by his own actions. Honored knights, how do you find for the prisoner? Guilty. 
Guilty. Guilty. Guilty. Guilty. Guilty. Guilty. Guilty. Guilty. Guilty. The sentence is death. Gently, my friend. Will he survive? That is for him to decide. Two days. It has already been two days. We cannot leave him here like this. I have done what I can. It is not for me to protect him now. I will call upon him if he lives through this ordeal. My friend. My friend. You must stay with us. Sir Galahad! Sir Galahad! Here, Lady Lakshmi. You were right to bring me here, Nicola. There's not much more I can do. All of London is looking for you. So they are. We will take care of him. Time will tell if he will make it through. If I am gone too long, they will suspect something. What if they already know? You have helped enough. Let us handle matters from now on. There is still so much for me to do, Lady Lakshmi. Please, take care of him. I fear that without him, we do not stand a chance. Ugh. 
Lakshmi. Well, Knight, <sighs> you're not one to give up so easily. Where am I? You're at a safe house on the embankment. <clears throat> You've been in and out of consciousness for almost a fortnight. <sighs> but come, we must make our way back to Whitechapel. The authorities are searching for you everywhere. How did you find me? You must thank Nicola. He brought you here and sought my help. Nicola, how do you know Nicola? I will let him explain his involvement in our affairs. Nicola left you these. He thought you would appreciate them. Come, let's go. Lakshmi, the Blackwater. How did you come about it? Whitechapel is this way. Lady Agrain, there is evidence of a few people having been here. Sir Galahad must have had help. Get word to the council that we have tracked the convict. Tell every able knight to converge towards Whitechapel. Yes, my lady. We need to leave. It is only a matter of time until the authorities raid Whitechapel and make prisoners of every man and woman. Salvage what you can and go. I have unfinished business at the palace. Have you lost your senses? The palace is the last place you should show yourself. I have to get Nicola out of there. I owe him that much. Alistair knows you. He'll expect you to come. I know. Then we will go together. No. This is a fight that I must see through, alone. If I live to see tomorrow, I shall find you. So be it, knight. Do you not know? I am a knight no longer. A knight you are not, monsieur. But are you a turncoat or a patriot? What would you have me be, Marquis? I believe you have reason for what you do. Two revolutions have taught Lafayette that there are dangers on both sides. I will not forget this, Marquis. See that you do not, Monsieur. Should you threaten the cause of liberty, you can count on Lafayette to be your sworn enemy. Adieu, monsieur. Until we meet again. That we will, my friend. Leaving us so soon? Debbie. So you do remember my name? 
There is much I should explain to you, and I should have trusted you long ago. There's no time for pleasantries. It seems you are eager to get yourself killed. I must make this right, whatever the cost. Then take this. Oh, and do come back in one piece. It seems my queen is taking a liking to you. Nicola, come in. I'm in the catacombs, on my way to you. Sir Galahad, are you mad? You must not come this way. Stay put. I'll be there shortly. Lakshmi was right. He knew. I'll get you out of here. Come on. He's still in there. Oh, it's too late. There's nothing we can do. There's still something I must do. Ah, 
Basta! I knew you would return, brother. Come out of the shadows, damn you! You and I, we are not that different. I do what I must to protect my kind. We fight only for our right to live. That's a lie! One day, perhaps, you will understand. Forgive me, Grayson. This is not the outcome I sought. Too long to not know this day would come. Why, Alistair? You have forced us outside all these years. I've seen things I am condemned to remember. Civilizations born and destroyed by humanity's incessant greed. The pride of men <coughs> slaughtering each other. In the name of their so-called God, we will atone for our sins in time. But how can you justify the atrocities your kind have committed? My kind... My kind are no more evil than yours. What of your sister? Your father? Was it all a lie? Is he? My father... I loved them as my own blood. But they cannot begin to know the curse I have lived with. My son. Father. Forgive me. Anna, it is I who needs your forgiveness. I never meant this life for you. You knew. I have always known. I rescued him from the massacre of his family. Your father died by my sword. But a child? You didn't deserve such a fate. How could I have taken the life of an innocent? Confess this to the Council, Lord Chancellor. It is the only way to make amends for the havoc that has been unleashed. I cannot! The revelation would shake our order to its very foundations. So I am to be sacrificed. How many more must die to ensure an eternal silence? He is my son. I cannot be the one to end his life. Isabeau and the Council must never discover the truth, lest all you hold dear perish. Do not ask this of me. Henceforth, 
You shall have fellowship with no knights. The order must remain united. You are no longer one of its heralds. Finish what you have begun and vanish! Men were never meant to live this life. There shall come a day when all our burdens will end, brother. <coughs> Maybe then we shall know true peace. Sir Galahad, the whole of London is looking for you. We mustn't delay. Sir Galahad, can you hear me? Sir Galahad. Be at ease, Nicola. All is fine. So you say, my friends. The council has declared martial law throughout the city. There is no telling when the authorities will decide to mount an offensive. Now is not the time for heroics. I would advise we follow Lady Lakshmi's lead and leave the city. I'll join you shortly. And don't you know, I'm Galahad, no more. 